Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we talk about Hurricane Epsilon. Yes, we. It's now a hurricane. The image that you see back there, I just want to say, is not Hurricane Epsilon. The image that you see right there is actually Hurricane Irma a few years back, about three years ago, if I remember correctly. So let's talk about it. This is what Hurricane Epsilon actually looks like. We actually see a um, wall collapse or another wall cycle. So the eye is kind of collapsing and then it'll come back to at the beginning of this, at uh, the beginning of all these frames, how it looks. So with the um, invisible satellite, we can definitely see this storm is moving um, northwest. Bermuda is right here. And you can definitely see that eye. At the beginning, you could see that eye, and then you could see that um, the eye wall collapse. But Bermuda now has a um, tropical storm warning. Let's zoom in real quick. We see tiny specks of red, like so small specks of red right around the edges but it still looks like an afro movements are coming more south of this storm it's supposed to become a hurricane and then by 8 a.m on monday it's supposed to become a post-tropical cyclone and then when um due to that the jet stream is going to be picking up this storm from 8 a.m on saturday to 8 a.m on monday so it's just going to pick up the storm with the jet stream and then strengthen the storm, so maybe it could possibly even be a major hurricane. Okay. So here we go. Um, 90 miles per hour moving west northwest, that's 12 miles per hour, 29.1 north, 59.1 west. Hurricane okay, Epsilon model intensity guidance. It's a category one but should be moved up no it still should be a category one um some models say category three i say borderline category one category two whenever it reaches its peak but i i might go down just a little bit and then bring it back up due to that the jet stream will be strengthening the storm but yeah and as the GEFS, we see it, it gets up to 951 millibars due to that the jet stream is strengthening up the storm. 969 millibars um, in 72 hours, 965 millibars in 96 hours, and in about 120 hours, 965. So these are mostly all the tracks. Guidances, I believe right here is where Bermuda is. So it's supposed to stay off of Bermuda, which is good. And then it's supposed to launch into the main to Ireland, Northern Ireland, and possibly even United Kingdom. So one portion of United Kingdom is going to be affected. If you did not know, Bermuda is a portion of United Kingdom. England, United Kingdom, I don't know the difference. But... It's a portion of it, and then United Kingdom has its mainland with Northern Ireland. Well, I think that's, oh, I don't know, England, North Ireland geography, but let's just move on over. Um, so this is the GEPS. We have 995 millibars at the moment, and then 24,993, 72,987s. 86,983, and then in 120,974 millibars. So the key messages for Hurricane Epsilon as advisory 10, 11 a.m. AST, Wednesday, October 21st, 2020. Number one, tropical storm conditions are expected on Bermuda beginning later today and continuing intermittently through Lake Thursday, when Epsilon is forecast to make its, a cl its closest approach each e east of the island. A tropical storm warning has been issued for Bermuda. Two, dangerous surf and rip currents 
or it's likely occurring along the coast of Bermuda, the Bahamas, the Great Antilles, and the Leeward Islands. These conditions are expected to spread to portions of the east coast of the United States and Atlantic Canada during the next couple of days. So the earliest visible arrival time, Bermuda, get ready if you have already by Thursday 2 a.m. And yeah, that's the only island. And then most likely is around those Thursday 2 p.m. Still get ready then. Oh, sorry. Thursday 8 a.m. to Thursday 8 p.m. So get ready. Like, if you haven't by Thursday 2 a.m., just go speedy quick. Go flash quick. But tropical storm force winds. Wind speed probabilities, Bermuda is in the four, the 30 to 50, so actually downgraded than what it has been. Portions of Canada are in uh, just 5 to 15. Um, Bermuda is not in the 58 winds and or the hurricane force winds. So guys, I think I have to end it here. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you get notified when I create another video.